Today I have a bit of a different video. I thought I would share with you five things that have changed my life for the better. Five good positive things that have changed my life for the better. There are plenty of people and beings and bad things that have also changed and shaped my life. And there's way more than what's on this list, but today I just wanted to share with you these five that kind of have been on my mind a lot recently. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if any of these things have changed your life or something that has also changed your life, that would be very interesting. So the first thing is kind of a quote, but not necessarily a quote, more so a sentence that I saw on, I think it was Facebook or Instagram. It might have been Tumblr, but I think it was either Facebook or Instagram about six to eight months after myself and one of my ex-boyfriends broke up. This person was in my life for a good six to seven years um, and not together that whole time. But we were together for like just over a year. It was a huge breakup and yeah, anyway, end of <laughs> getting on with it. Um, I saw this sentence and as soon as I read it, my mindset about the whole situation just changed. I thought I was over it. I knew I wasn't over it. Um, but yeah, as soon as I read this sentence, my mindset changed, which in turn changed my life and where my life was going and what I was doing and how I was living my life. And that sentence is... He is not the son you are. It seems like the most obvious thing, but that just gave me such like an epiphany in the moment about that situation that completely changed my outlook on the situation, on my life, on how I've been living my life and changed my life for the better. Trust me. <laughs> These are not in order, by the way. This is just what I'm picking from the top of my head. Another thing that definitely changed my life, probably the most out of all of these things, is moving. When I was 12 years old in the transition from 12 years old to 13, so grade 6 to grade 7 in Tasmania, my family, myself included, moved from a small farming town to the second biggest city in Tasmania, Launceston. At the time, I hated it. I was, I hated it so much. I cried and cried and screamed and shouted and kicked and did all those things. I was like, why are you taking me away from like my friends? the rest of my family, everything I've known, everything I've grown up with. And I'm just like, why are you doing this to me? You must hate me so much to my parents. No, it turned out to be the best thing. I mean, obviously I was a teenager. I couldn't appreciate it. But now I look back and I can see how that definitely shaped my life. If I still lived in that small farming town, if I grew up there, like if I went to high school and grade 11 and 12 there, my life would be so different. Like you have no idea. The way my life would have turned out growing up there and growing up in Launceston is it would have been polar opposites. And I literally cannot stress that enough. I would never have found YouTube. I would never have the friends that I have, obviously. Um, it's just crazy how much moving can change your life because I'm not in contact with anyone that I was friends with when I lived in that town and nor do I wish to be. I know they're all obviously different now, but at the time, every friendship I was in was extremely toxic and I couldn't say that while I was in them. But looking back, I can obviously see that I never really fitted in there. Like it's a small town. There's like five categories of things that you must be. You must be at least one of them. And I was none of them. And I just didn't belong there. And I'm so very thankful that my parents decided to move. Branching on from that is YouTube. I discovered YouTube when I was in grade eight. So I was either 13 or 14. And the moment I discovered it, I remember the exact moment so well. Just this whole other world opened up to me and it's a world that I found myself being absolutely consumed by. Uh, watching the videos for years and years and years and then finally starting to make the videos and just loving it and like meeting some of you guys and making like really good friends through YouTube, which is just crazy. Um, Bella, if you're watching, I love you. Um, it's just, it's just mad how, how just like finding one thing when you're so young and making one decision just changes everything. I mean, obviously my YouTube channel is small, has always been small and will always be small. I'm not a very likable person. I get that. It just took me out of my life at that moment in time when I, where I was in high school and not loving my life and things like that. It just gave me an escape, gave me an outlet and it just literally, it, 
I feel like it definitely shaped me as a person, but it shaped me into the person that I was meant to be anyway. So, yeah. The last two things on my list are more recent things. So I'll start with the most recent thing, and that is the documentary Forks Over Knives. So we all know that veganism is blowing up on the internet right now, which means it is changing people's lives, it's changing animals' lives, it's changing the world. It's, it's just such an amazing lifestyle, and I'm not going to get, like, all crazy into it. But if you are even thinking about going vegan or thinking about looking into it, I definitely 100% recommend watching Forks Over Knives. I also watched the two Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead documentaries. Now, these documentaries are health-based. They are not like animal-based. They're not planet-based. They are about your health. I mean, they also obviously dabble in those other two things, but the main point of the documentary is your health. And after I watched all those three, but especially Forks Over Knives, I was like, oh my fucking God, what have I been doing to myself? And literally vegan like just like that i was like i am vegan i was already thinking about becoming vegan and i'd already like started transitioning like i stopped drinking cow's milk and stopped using animal made butter and i started using nut and seed made butter and just small transitions along the way that i had already been doing for months and then i watched this documentary and bam 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 i was vegan like it just blew my mind like the science behind the way you should be eating and how much what you eat affects your body like obviously you always know that but when you look at it from a perspective of a vegan i watch that with a completely open mind like i know people will try to brainwash you to say oh my god you need to go paleo you need to go like atkins diet like blah 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 i watch it with a completely open mind and it blew my mind so forks over knives obviously changed my lifestyle it changed my diet it changed my views on food um, it changed my life in a sense and I highly recommend you watching it if you haven't already. Alright, so we're on to number five, the very last thing that I want to talk about and that is, it's pretty small, um, I'm not going to lie. It did, not that it changed my life, but it definitely signified a change in my life and that is getting my nose pierced. <laughs> I have wanted my nose pierced since I was 12, alright? I just always have wanted it pierced, but certain things in my life had been stopping me, whether it's my family, money, friends, boyfriends. It just kept never happening and being pushed back and pushed back because it's something that I've always wanted. It's always been in the back of my mind, and I, I know this is really small, but it really does signify something big for me. It's always been in the back of my mind, like I really want to get that done, like I really want a ring, I knew I didn't want to start, I knew I wanted a ring, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, people being like, no, don't get it, or it'll look gross, or shit like that. So it just kept getting further and further pushed back. After I moved back from Melbourne and that whole life change happened, I was just in town one day with my friend, and we were walking past the piercing shop, and she's like, just go see if you can get it done now, and if you can, just do it. And I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. So I walked in, and they said, yep, no worries, I'll do it now. I walked out of that shop, and I had my nose pierced, and it was, it just... It, was, it made me feel like me, and I love it when things have that, whether it's an outfit, whether it's a moment, whether it's something like a piercing or a tattoo, when something makes you feel like yourself 100%. And that's what getting my nose pierced did. It signified that I no longer gave a fuck about what other people in my life think I should do or think I should be or think I should become because I don't give a fuck. It's about what I want and who I want to be. And that is what getting my nose pierced signified in my life. It signified the change from me giving a fuck to me not giving a fuck. So that is today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys felt that you could connect to it in some way, shape or form. I thought I'd give you just a little bit of an insight into things, the type of things that have changed my life up until this point where I am turning 22 in two months, which is fucked. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Tumblr or Snapchat, that's at Beck Eldrip. If you want to check out my online vintage store, that's Drift Vintage AU on Etsy. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give the video a like and share down below something that's changed your life. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.